your piece of this case was good before i do anything else let me say much appreciation to all of my new followers subscribers everybody that's been commenting and asking for questions i do appreciate it i've been in a little bit of a hiatus just fully recovering from a factory reset that i had to do on everything wipe my computer completely blank and then just finally getting back to recovering all of my plugins all my la my lost drum kits different things like that so i'm back but um today's video is about the top four reasons as to why it is you should use machine as a plugin inside of another dog this is funded from a question that somebody asked me in a dm on instagram um and i thought i made it clear as to why it is that i did that in previous like videos that i showed with my workflow with machine and ableton but number four reason is to save the amount of waves that you bounce and the amount of space that you take away from your hard drive when you're bouncing stems what i mean is this a lot of producers will make the entire beat inside a machine which is cool i got no problem with that but what they do is they bounce all of the stems from machine out of machine into the next doll that they're using and then they bounce the stems again after they mix the entire beat down and do whatever it is that they have to do there and that's like two sets of stems that you have especially if you have to send them off to like an engineer to do anything it's taxing on your hard drive at the end of the day it's a whole lot easier and it's much more simple to just route everything from ableton directly in the machine the way that i have everything set in the template that i showed everybody before and then to grab like when you have a pattern here to just grab this and drag it here uh, that didn't work the first time for whatever reason to drag it here and then just play along for the reason being that it just makes everything a whole lot more simple plus keeps the creativity flowing anytime you got to stop to do anything to wait for anything to bounce and then to drag it and to drop it anywhere that's a second that it takes away from your creativity i don't really have time like that personally third reason as to why it is that i do this inside of machine there is no uh, visual representation for a parametric eq or any kind of view meters for compressors or for anything like that if you come from that train of thought much like i come from that train of thought and i'll just pull up eq8 if you come from that train of thought the way that i come from that train of thought um, you kind of miss that and you kind of wish that you had something like that um, now because there's not that a machine if you do it inside of another doll like ableton fl studio pretty much every other doll has this when you want to be able to see what your actual levels are where you're hitting at what you need to cut what you need to dig now on the flip side i do appreciate that machine is built off of analog gear and the concept of analog gear that you need to actually physically see what it is that you're doing i'm sorry not physically see but you need to actually listen to what it is that you hear as opposed to seeing what's going on because what you hear is what matters at the end of the day when you're mixing and i do need, i do think we need to get back to that but occasionally i will want to go ahead and see what it is that i need to boost what it is that i need to cut and if i want to do that then i'm going to do it in another dog second top reason you should use machine as a plugin inside of another doll is because of the browser capabilities to favorite and tag anything that you want to and this is exactly what i mean ableton is finally getting the idea that most people want the ability to be able to have a specified set of like go to anything that you want so they gave us these collections which are cool and the way that it works you right click anything you can add anything to a collection by clicking any one of these the problem with that is that it's limited to seven right so it's useful but at the same time it's not as useful as it could be with machine you can favorite anything that you want so let's say that um i have some sounds that i want to favorite or actually let's say some i have some sounds that i want to make my go-to sounds right I can click this favorites button here and it will allow me to go ahead and pick from these now let's say i just want some kicks right let's try drums kicks here and turn this off and i'll just favorite any one of these any one of these at all and then favorited all of these kicks if i click this here it'll bring all of the kicks up that i favorited and then if i take it a step further and i go to um like my personal browser on the other side and i go to all of my one shots that i have here for the what like 16 gigs of just 
crazy folders that I have here. Shout out to Decaf. Let's say like I like some stuff here. Again, if I go back to my, my actual tags here, I go to kick anything that I favorited here and kicks are all going to show up. So if I go back to decap, all of those kicks that I favorited in decap's kit are going to all show up. Now, there's no other DAW that allows you to be able to do this. Ableton came close with collections. Close. But you don't have this functionality in any other DAW. There's only one other plugin that I've seen do this for drums, and that's ADSR Sample Manager. Massive has like a favorite feature. Most other like sound generating plugins like uh, Omnisphere has a favorite feature where you can actually favor different plugins and things that you like but no other dog gives you the ability to do this and this also translates over into uh, complete control as well so if i was to open up complete control anything that i favorite in here it's going to show up over there as well and again this is not just limited to drums this is limited it's not limited at all to anything um any kind of Anything that you favorited at any given point in time is going to show up, which is cool, man. It's something I feel like every doll should use. So, the favorite capability and complete control machine is the reason why I use it and I do it out of machine. Um, and the number one reason why you should use machine as a plugin instead of another doll Native Instruments Machine has no auto backup. I'm going to repeat that. In 2019, Native Instruments Machine has no auto backup. And that's a shot fire to Native Instruments. I love everything Native Instruments. I love all of their hardware, all of their gear, all of their expansions. I am, you know, an avid Native Instruments user. But my main problem is I feel like you guys are spending entirely too much time on hardware and budget gear, which I appreciate wholeheartedly. But it's no reason why in 2019, any DAW should not have any kind of auto backup. Like that's unexcusable. I know a lot of people in the forums complain about the limitability of doing things like uh, being able to bounce everything the way that you can bounce everything and it runs through the actual uh, processing of your bus on the actual master track when you bounce all of your stems. Um, I know people complain about different things like the, uh, the limitability of the time stretch um, and that functionality, I don't care anything about that. I just need an auto backup. Like there's, that's inexplicable. That's that's unexcusable. We, we need that auto backup, please. And we need a way to be able to import drums faster inside a machine because doing this is a dummy mission. Getting all of these kits imported, the way that I have all of these kits imported is a dummy mission. ADSR Sample Manager, you select one folder. So for, for me to be able to import all of these, you have to physically go to file import here and then you select the folder that you want to import or you can do it from the settings way the other way that's neither here nor there the point i'm making is you have to do each one individually with adsr sample manager you select one folder and it selects all of the kits in every single folder so i know it can be done it's, it's just a matter of the coding and i'm a programming major as well but that's neither here or there. So the number one reason to use machine as a plugin inside of another DAW is to be able to get that auto backup feature. So anything that you did not save inside a machine, the auto backup in Ableton, FL Studio, Pro Tools, uh, Logic Pro, um, Studio One, uh, Cubase, you name it. Every other DAW has an auto backup. So if you don't save anything and you are tired of losing your projects because you forgot to click save, because that's happened to me a couple times and use it inside of another dog but that was all i wanted to go ahead and show today again my name is skates i will be around more often continue to do what y'all do like subscribe comment and all of that goodness love and light all of that good stuff y'all be blessed peace